Hey, good looking. Welcome back to the channel. Today I will be featuring six of my favorite brush rolls or brush sets that I recommend and I'll rank them for you this time around. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm Kendra Morgan Official and I put out content weekly around single eyeshadows, makeup brushes, and sunscreen. So if you like that kind of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. First and foremost, this is number six and it's not a recommend at all. This is an MLM brush roll that I stupidly bought years and years ago from a famous, oh, they're not famous. <laughs> they're probably well known, but not for good measure. Um, but anyways, I spent like $468 on this brush roll. Yep, $468. I do have a review on the eyes and the face brush set. I'm not mentioning the name. And I'll link it for you guys up in the eye if you want to check it out. Uh, that was the beginning of my YouTube day career. So just, you know, keep that in mind. But anyways, just to kind of give you guys what I would have chose instead, I probably would have, if I was a little smarter, purchased the Smith Cosmetics set because I do own four of their brushes and I'll link, actually just let me link as I want to link. And then the playlist will also be linked down below because I put all my brush reviews in a playlist. So you can also go and see those. Oh, this isn't gonna work out well because I am sweating like a pig. Okay, but anyways, moving on. Number five, again, not really a recommend, and I'll go through why, but just more or less want you guys to know I have gotten out there and experienced it, and this was my very first brush set that was ever bought for me. It was the Sigma Beauty Professional Brush Premium Kit. It was recommended by Jaclyn Hill that I get this and the MAC 224, and I'll be set for life. Um, upon receiving this as a Christmas gift, Oh, they're all just like thrown in here. Oh, I don't even use them anymore. Upon, where's the brush that does it? Oh, this is the one. I started using this Sigma brush and by the way, all of the paint has completely come off and it is, I don't think you guys can see this. I'll probably have to put some B-roll in, but it is like cracking in a weird, formation like a circular like a I don't know but anyways this right here is loose came loose about three months in um I did like watch every single brush washing video I could watch at the time it was like step limited to Jen Loves and Stephanie Nicole but I did wash watch videos on how to like you know wash the brushes and everything as far as hair they are synthetic hair they fall under my um, 2B category. You can buy them individually, you can buy them in a set. The set costs well over $200 unless you have a code. I'm just gonna continue to like fan myself off here. <sighs> For some reason it's a lot warmer than I thought it was today. Not a recommend. They're not really that soft. After you wash them the first time, it almost feels like there's a film that's left from whatever brush soap you decide to use and you could use the highest quality brush soap and it just doesn't seem to matter there's like a film that is left on the brushes they're not like incredibly soft like when you first get them so i don't recommend this brush set in fact i'm just going to use this no i gotta wash it but <sighs> but anyways there you go these are not a recommend they're very high in price sigma puts out a lot of sales but they do it because their stuff is marked up purposefully so that they can have large sales. I don't really agree with that too much. Let's move forward. Number three, which is a recommend, is the ColourPop Stone Cold Brush Roll. I like ColourPop brushes. I think for the amount of money that you pay, you get a great deal. You get a nice, well-rounded amount of brushes and the types of brushes are something that I really, I like to see. I've washed these brushes and they're soft again. There's no like filmy residue that's been left over the top of them. I also, and I kind of grade like a set as, does it give you enough to do 
a basic face of makeup? Does it give you enough to do something a little bit more? Like if you wanted to do something on trend, would you have enough detailing brushes to do that trend? Um, maybe not like special effects makeup or anything of that you know, sort, but does it give you enough to do a little bit of an isolated, elevated look? And the ColourPop brush roll set does that for you. It has a great ratio of face two eye brushes, meaning that there's, you know, a few face brushes and then there's a lot of eye brushes, which I think is very, um, that's really smart to have in a brush brush roll because a lot, of, I mean, eyes are all dips, all different shapes and sizes. So having a multitude of brushes really helps with that. The styles of brushes that they choose for the face are nice and well-rounded so this can be used as a bronzer brush it can be used as a blush brush it could also be used as a lightly setting the face with translucent powder brush so they're very versatile and there is one there's five face brushes and then or is this one actually the f33 would be considered a face brush but you could actually use this to like set underneath the eye or like blend a translucent powder in or a highlight you know things of that nature so it's kind of a crossover between an eye and a face and then you've got eight eye brushes which i think are really really good you got a couple different types of blenders you got a couple shader you know a pinch ferrule shader um and then a packer brush a couple detailed outer v you know slash you know, lower lash line defining that crease or that defining that lash line for you brushes. So again, highly recommend. And for the value, you are getting a really, really good deal. Um, I have stood by this one for a long time. This was really hard to, actually these could really be interchangeable. I really probably should switch up, but I did go ahead and label these a little bit higher. I don't remember why. Yeah, so probably should have been in fourth, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's in third. Um, just because I do like the aesthetics of the brushes, but I don't like much more else beyond that. And that is the Sydney Grace brush set. I do own the face and the eye collection, both. You can buy them singly, you can buy them as an eye set or a face set. I don't think you can buy the entire set no, I had to buy the face brushes and the eye brushes as two different components, but you get what I'm saying. Like if you bought these in a set, you know, then you could look at it that way. So the brushes, I didn't do a review on these. I probably should still do it. You know, I don't have a lot of good things to say about these brushes. I don't have a lot of horribly bad negative things to say about these brushes, but I don't have a lot of good things to say about the brushes. I don't care for the weightiness of these brushes. I love the way they look. The rose gold with a nice sandalwood looking um, stained brush handle, great and wonderful. I tried taping on those little circular labels from the cellophane they were coming off at a really rampant rate and even when i glued them back on they didn't but the glue stayed on and now i have you know glue and fiber tears all over my brushes however i would say you get a wide variety of eye brushes you do get a good starter kit and i think if i was going to direct somebody i'd probably direct them here um you get a little bit better value for your money, actually, if you do the math correctly. And also, a few of the brushes are brushes that you don't really find a whole heck of a lot outside of, um, like, Sydney Grace and some of your more, like, makeup artist line. I think that the brushes serve their purpose I don't like the density of the bristles. They are synthetic. They're going to fall under the same category as the ColourPop, which is the 2A, which is, you know, a little bit more expensive than your, like, cheapy Amazon or your Modas or whatever you might find at TJ Maxx. Like, those little off-brand brush kits that might be, like, $10 or less and you get an, a variety of, you know, 8 to 12 brushes. You could do a look, but they won't last you very long and they're kind of maybe just like for looks or for a preteen starting out, that kind of thing. This is a little bit isolated, a little bit like more uh, intense as far as like somebody who actually wants to, you know, 
continuously do their makeup and do it well and have a good experience with it, you would use these types of brushes, which is a category two. And then A and B is your, is my subcategories. I have synthetic and I have uh, natural bristle brushes because you can't really compare those two if you're, if you're really, you know, wanting to be fair. You can't really compare the two. Um, so these would be 2A, just like the ColourPop brushes, but for some reason, aesthetically, they do please me just a little bit more. As far as functionality goes, though, I would choose the ColourPop brushes, but I don't know why I don't reach for them more. These just, every time I reach for it, I want it to do well. I expect it to do well, but it always falls a little bit short um, density-wise, and then the weightiness, or lack thereof, in the brush always kind of gets me as well. Face brushes, though, they're not a huge disappointment. I would say this brush right here is very similar, maybe just quite a substantially less dense than the La Mer powder brush that retails for like 80 bucks or whatever. Um, and it's it's got a nice balanced weightiness. So, you know, when applying powder and blush and bronzer, you could use this brush. This right here, I've used this as a foundation brush for a while now. It doesn't rival the Makeup Geek. Um, I have it right here. It doesn't rival the face buffer brush from Makeup Geek. Looky here. Um, this was washed and put away. This one here has, I mean, it's in use. So you can just see, just by looking at it, this is way more dense than this. This is just not, there's just really not much of a comparison. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can't see it. Anyways, just trust me. Just trust me on this. This was a little, this is a continuous improvement. It's not a miss, it's just a continuous improvement. Um, I think I don't really particularly care for a tip. I would like a more beveled edge, not so much of a tip. Again, that's just preference, but I mean, Makeup Geek got it right. And the length, I do like the length a little bit better than the Makeup Geek one, just have a little bit more um, variability, but there's not that much. I mean, they're not that much longer. So I will say my favorite out of the face components is the blusher. I don't know where it went. SGF02. No, it looked like a slanted blush brush. Wherever that little stink pot went. But anyway, she's so cute. I'll put a little picture of up here. This has been what I wanted. And this was the only style of brush that enticed me to potentially maybe ever so slightly kind of sort of think about looking into buying a morphe brush um and it jacqueline hill was the one that put it out it was like the jh whatever whatever doesn't matter anyways she did a blusher brush like that because i like to do my blush in the same manner that she does so i really kind of wanted a brush like that and so having that brush is great now it does well with less density than a more densely packed version of this brush so it does well it does well let's get up to my number two and my number one you guys are going to be really shocked i know you're going to love it if you're finding value in this content as always please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below okay are you ready for it number two this is the sandalwood rosewood brush set from aliexpress it contains a multitude of different types of hair it is a 2b of set of brushes and it contains I think eight brushes I'll link them down below because I don't remember quite what goes all into this set versus the other accompanying set that you can buy as far as eye brushes so four and five so mate oh it's nine piece yeah 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 it's a nine piece so you get five eye brushes and you get four face brushes but let me tell you this is an experience it is a luxurious experience without paying a luxurious price tag and I will probably recommend this brush set till the day that I die when I purchased this brush set from Aliexpress about four years ago it was 70 something dollars and I got a coupon for it so I got it somewhere mid to upper 60s so the price has gone up immensely i will link this brush set below along with all the other ones if they're available still and you'll see the prices have went up a lot so just just so you know you know that's just something that happens but i think when you have brushes with this 
type of hair and when you have brushes with this type of aesthetic you don't need a wide variety um you just allow the bristles of the brush to i don't know kind of give you an experience that is very just like it, it gives you the feeling like somebody's doing your makeup and that the, the bristles are just so soft it's it's what i would want my makeup brushes to be if I was going to get married again, you know, 11 years ago. This is, these are the brushes I would have wanted. Um, this does come with a eye brush set and it comes with five, four or five different eye brush. I only have two in front of me right now, but there's like four or five and it's like 20, it's under $25. Okay. Under $25. When I make my and design my own brush line, folks, guess what? It's going to be affordable, but it's going to feel like luxury. Mark my words. Put that out into the universe. Anyways, <laughs> this, I, I just can't describe it. I, I reach for these all the time. They have a really good weightiness. They're a little bit longer in handle as well. So definitely, definitely a recommend as far as that goes. And they're under $25. They were last time. They might be slightly over 25. So we'll just say that they're probably in or around the $30 price range for like five brushes. And they are Psycoho goat hair, which is like a nice, I mean, red for brushes use Psycoho goat hair. So you can tell that they are really, really nice. Now, Japanese Psycoho isn't, uh, doesn't translate to Chinese Psycoho, but I think that they're close enough that I wouldn't say that there's, you know, noticeably differences in the quality of those two types of hairs. So if you're wanting to treat yourself or you're wanting to give yourself something like really, really nice or give a gift to somebody that's really, really nice, I would suggest this brush set and then follow up with this brush set too. I'll link them both below. Okay. It does come with a, um, nice holder if you want it. I think you can also buy it without the holder as well. I went ahead and just purchased the holder because I really like it. So my number one pick. Can you guess? Stop the video. Stop the films. Guess which one is my number one pick. I've never reviewed this brush set and I love this brush set so much. I've wanted to take my time and get some good um, B-roll. I've wanted to make sure that I give credit where credit is due and just really like, I don't know, spend some time, you know, making and creating the video and have a really, really good um, quality video. And that is the Delium Tools. I think it's the phase two set, but I will go ahead and link it down below for you guys. I just love this set. These are blue. They remind me of like art class. And I think that's kind of the aesthetic that they're going for, but they are more generally used for um, pro makeup artists. So you'll see them in their kits. They are synthetic, so it's going to be a 2B. You can buy them singly or you can buy them in a set. I love the idea of being able to go, go either way. The set contains five face brushes and 11 eyeshadow brushes and detailer brushes. So this is a pretty eye heavy weighted set, but I do like the idea that this is probably going to give you an even more, um, it probably trends into like almost special effects, but you could do quite a bit more. It also enables you to um, do your brows lip liners, get a nice ombre lip. Um, so it's not just eyes, but it could be used as eyes. So like there's a, oh, I guess that's an eyeliner. Here's a precise lip liner brush for you. Um, so I guess when you say like eyeshadow, it's the smaller brush portion. But anyways, there you have it. This is just scratching the surface. We're not getting into too much details, but hopefully you guys can tell uh, which brush set you would like to own or which one would best suit your needs let me know in the comments down below which brush set would best fit your needs in your makeup world and as always please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you're finding value in this content hit that thumbs up you'll get a little party on your way out can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye